everyone, my name is Amber and I am a regional education for Schwarzkopf professional for the direct market. And today I want to talk to you guys about our amazing retail line called Osis. Um, we have this amazing retail line and whether you've used it or you haven't, I hope that after watching this, you try some of the Osis products because to be honest, it's one of my favorite parts of Schwarzkopf professional. So let's get right into it and talk about what Osis has to offer and how it's going to help you guys in the salon. So this first slide that you're seeing here talks about our product architecture. What I love about this is it shows you your control level. So you can see on each bottle, you're gonna have a number. That number is either one for light control, two for medium control, three for strong control, or four for ultra strong control. Control essentially is your hold level. So your control level is your hold level. Also, if you look at the architecture, we have separated this into categories of style. Style would be products that you put in your hair before you blow dry to build the style. Your texture products you can see are in those red packages, and those are gonna be texture products. Most of those are to be put on dry hair. And then your finish, which is gonna be your hairsprays and any sort of shine sprays that you have. So let's go ahead and get right into it and talk about what products we have, because I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So the first product we have is part of our smooth line. So our smooth style is called our Tame Wild. So Tame Wild is a product that comes in this tube. I'm about to pick it up to show it to you guys. Um, some of the benefits of this product is that it has anti-frizz and anti-humidity for up to seven days and heat protection up to 428 degrees. So I'm gonna show you the consistency of the product. So you can see it's this nice lightweight consistency. I can rub it into my hand and it rubs in super smooth. Now notice its control factor is a three control factor. This is meant for coarse, thick hair to really give that anti-frizz and anti-humidity for up to seven days. Who is the client for this product? That's the most important thing. The client for this product are your clients that have really coarse, really curly hair or frizzy hair and they're looking to smooth it. By putting this in wet hair before you blow dry, it acts as your primer for the hair, really getting it prepped for all the rest of the products that you might need to use. This is also for that client that maybe only comes in once a week to get her blow dry style. So she gets her hair flat ironed and curled once a week. She really wants that to last the whole week. And because it has anti-frizz and anti-humidity for up to seven days, this is the product for that client. So it may not be for everybody. If you had fine hair, I do have something later on I can talk about that can be your primer for fine hair. But if you have thick, medium to thick hair, this is a perfect primer for you. So this is what's in our smooth line. We have a lot of other products in our volume line. So we're gonna talk about the volume line next. So that was for smooth. In volume, mousse is one of our most, well, not our most, in general, in styling, mousse is a very important product and a lot of people use mousse. However, you might find that somebody with a finer texture hair might find that a mousse is too heavy for them. So what I love about us as a brand and Osis is that we actually have three different control levels for our mousses. The first one is called Topped Up and I'm actually gonna grab it because I, this one has a very unique feel to it. So this is Topped Up, again, one control level. So when I put this in my hand, you know how when you get those dial of soap dispensers and it comes out as kind of a foam? That's what this is. It's this very, very lightweight foam. So you can see it's moving in my hand. So this is perfect for your clients who have that fine hair. They wanna have some volume and they wanna get the effects of a mousse, but a mousse can sometimes be too heavy. That's where topped up is that gentle cold mousse and it has a control level of one. So it doesn't really feel like you have anything in your hair. It just helps to build that volume. Now, the fab foam is just your classic mousse. So when you think of mousse, it would be your classic hold. So your control factor for this is a two control. So it's gonna give you more control than fab topped up, but not as much control as what you get with grip. Fab foam is great for somebody with a medium texture hair or even thicker hair that just wants something to help be a base for their hair to help hold curl if they're going to curl it or to give a little bit of extra volume when you're doing a blowout service. Now grip, that is going to be a control level of four. That is an extreme hold mousse. Grip is a, a perfect product to use in hair if you know you're gonna be styling it for up styling. If you're like me, I have clients who wanna get their hair styled for a wedding, but they always come in with clean hair. 
and I can't do anything with it. If somebody comes in with clean, slippery hair, I like to use grip in their hair ahead of time. It's gonna give me that four control level, so it's gonna give me a lot more hold than what I would get with a regular mousse. So it's going to hold the curl and the style that I need and gives me a really great base. So I use it mostly for upstyling, but if somebody just had hair that has a tendency to fall all the time, grip might also be an option for them to really give a long lasting hold. So three hold levels, I've got my topped up for fine hair, I've got fab foam for medium texture hair, and then grip could be for thick hair or for up styling. So I love the fact that we have three different mousses because I tend to think that one mousse does not fit all. So three different mousses, three different hair types and uses for them. But that's not all we have in volume. We also have some other products in the volume line as well. We have two other products. So again, somebody with fine hair might have a tendency to think that mousse is a little bit too strong for them. So that's where upload comes in. So upload is gonna be that two control level. And you can see that it's this cream base. If you look inside the bottle, they have a nice clear area here so you can see that it's a cream base. If I put this in my hands, again, it's a super lightweight cream. But what's really great about this is it plumps the hair strand so it gives you more volume. So this is something that you can use from mids to ends, uh, but you could also put some of it on the new growth area. But I personally, love using my volumizing gel for the new growth area. The volumizing gel again is a gel. So you can see it's more of that clear inside the bottle. So when I put this in my hands, this is gonna be more of a gel consistency. So this one is gonna be that gel consistency here. And that's something that I would use these two in conjunction. I would take this gel and I would put it on my new growth area to give me a root lift. Because it's a gel, gels give you almost that little bit of tackiness. So what that's gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my fingertips, run it through just the base of my hair. When I blow dry, it's gonna hold that hair up off the scalp, giving me more volume, acting as like a girdle, holding the hair up the, from the scalp. So my favorite combination when it comes to volume, if I don't wanna use a mousse, I want something slightly lighter, then I'm going to use my volumizing gel for my root lift. And then mids to ends, I'm actually going to use upload. Fun fact, I actually used this combination for my hair today, but you're gonna find out later in this video how I can make my hair even bigger and bigger and bigger using our Osis products. But these are just, again, the products that you're going to prep your hair with. So these are products that I would put into wet hair before I blow dry to really give me that base I need and stabilize, and then I can layer other products on top of it. So within the volume line, again, we have the three mousses, and then we also have a gel and also a cream. But we also need to have products for curly hair, right? Who doesn't want a great product for curly hair? So we have two different products. And these products are going to be for my fine hair client or for somebody for coarse hair, or you could use them in conjunction. So I'm gonna first talk about Curl Honey. Curl Honey, I know is on the right side. Um, I'll talk about bouncy curls here in a minute. This is Curl Honey. It's got that two control factor. So it's got that hold or control of a two. So it's gonna help to give control, but because it's a cream, it's gonna be slightly thicker. So this is actually perfect for somebody with a medium to coarse hair texture. A lot of times you need some of that moisture and a cream is gonna give you more moisture than what Bouncy Curls is gonna give you. So this is a cream and it's perfect for that coarse curly hair. It helps to tame and give an anti-frizz effect. It's also giving you soft, shiny hair surface. Again, this is something I would put in wet hair, either scrunch the hair and let it air dry or use a diffuser. And it's perfect for those clients with coarse, frizzy hair because they're really looking to just tame it and have that soft, natural feel. Now, if I have somebody with fine hair, sometimes a cream can be too heavy. That's when I'm gonna wanna go into more of a gel. So we do have bouncy curls which is again, a three control factor. And if you think about that, if you have fine hair, you need more control. You need to have a stronger hold. So if you have fine hair, this has that three control level. But the benefit to this is it's a gel oil. So if I put just a little bit of this in my hands, you'll see that by being a gel oil, it's a little bit more smooth. I'll give you just a second, this is a brand new bottle, so it'll take just a minute to pump it out. But it's got this gel oil consistency to it. So it's gonna be um, a little bit of a, um, oil in it so instead of being a strong wet hold it's going to have that little bit of oil that's going to give some softness and this bottle is apparently not working so we're not going to show you that one today but again it's gel but it's not tacky like a gel 
because it has that oil inside of it, it gives that slickness that an oil is going to give, which gives you a dry curl feel. I don't know about you, but for me, hard crunchy curls are just not my thing. So what I love is that both of these curl products leave the hair soft and silky, but also tame the curls and give the hold that you need. Now, pro tip, I personally don't like a one size fits all when it comes to products. So if somebody wants that, my bouncy curls is gonna be for my fine to medium texture hair, and my curl cream is going to be for my coarse frizzy hair. What I found is the curl cream isn't too heavy. I have a medium texture and I have natural curl. So in the summer, I actually like to first put in my bouncy curls with the gel with the oil, and then layer over top of it my curl cream. And the two together just make the perfect combination for curly hair. So they can be used together. I just wouldn't put them in your hand at the same time. I would apply first the bouncy curls and then put the curl cream over top of it. So again, we've gone over smoothing products. We've talked about volume products and we've talked about curls and what to use for those. And those are all prepping or getting the hair styled and building the style for you. So now let's talk about once the hair is dry, there's a lot of different products that you can use also for texture. The first one isn't just for dry hair though. The first one is actually going to be for wet or dry hair. So Wind Touch is the first one. And Wind Touch, you can see has that control factor of a one. So again, it's a light control. And it's something that for beachy waves, you can see it's again, a lightweight cream. And you'll see how silky smooth it is on the hand. Like it really runs into my hand very easily. What I love about this is it doesn't make the hair feel tacky, but it's kind of like if I went to the beach and uh, the salt kind of gave me that little bit of natural wave with that little bit of control, that's exactly what Wind Touch does. What's nice about it is it helps to give me a little bit of volume even though the hair has air dried, but I can also use it for blow drying techniques or for diffusing the hair. Also, men can use this. So how many of us like that kind of surfer men's look, but they want to be able to run their hands through their hair. Wind Touch is perfect for that. So it's a really great product for both men and women because it can be put into the hair to give you the tousled kind of windblown look, but also give you that very small little control so you can still run your hands through your hair. So the next product I'm going to talk about is actually one of my absolute favorite products and that's Refresh Dust. If you've ever used this, you already know that it's the best dry shampoo on the market. Um, it's also going to have just a whole level or control of one because this is meant for day after. So I did shampoo my hair today, so I don't necessarily need this, but the thing about Refresh Dust is not only does it refresh my hair with a good scent, but it also gives me more volume. So I'm gonna spray just a little bit in. The thing is with this nozzle, it's an aerosol spray and it comes out super fast. So just know when it comes out, it is a super fast spray and you'll notice it has that little bit of white powder that is a starch that's in it. That white powder isn't going to stay in dark hair. You're gonna let it sit for just a couple of minutes. And when you brush your hair out, it really just diffuses. And what's great because it's that powder is that when I brush it through, it also helps to refresh the ends as well. So I've actually used Refresh Dust on a day when I went for a run in the heat in the summer. I spray Refresh Dust, I blow dry the hair. It's not only going to refresh the scent of my hair, but it's also going to give me that volume. So I use it sometimes even day one on my hair because sometimes I need that little bit of texture or that little bit of volume. So it's my favorite dry shampoo and it's because it refreshes, it absorbs the oil and gives me that extra volume that I'm looking for. And I feel like a lot of dry shampoos don't give me the volume, they just help with the odor and also with the oil, whereas this also gives me that volume. Now another product, how many of us like a lot of volume in our hair? Um, Dust It is my next product that I wanna talk about. And this little guy is one of our top sellers. So it's just this little bottle. It says it has a control level of one. I'm gonna tell you right now that it might feel a little more than one. I actually love using this product when I'm creating volume for upstyling. So if I'm doing a pompadour or an upstyle that has a lot of volume, this is my go-to product. You'll notice that there's these little tiny holes here. So it's almost like a salt shaker. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap, tap, tap this out. So just tap, tap, tap to get that fine little dust. You can see it coming out. Um, there's two ways you can use this. You could put some dust in your hand and use your fingertips and then apply it to your new growth. Or if you feel like you have good control, you can also attempt to do this on your own. So I'm gonna put a little in so you guys can see. Tap, tap, tap. 
You'll see a little bit going in. A little bit goes a long way. So you do not want to use too much of this. If you do, you are going to notice it. But what's really nice about this product is it stays in your hair even when you dry your hair the next day or when you style your hair the next day, not dry it. Um, the next day, you're also going to get that same volume because it stays in the hair. So every time I mess with this hair, it gets higher and higher. So you can see the extra volume I have right here already just from dusting. And I can rework it throughout the day. So if it starts to fall, all I have to do is rework the hair and it's going to give you that. Um, so this is something that's really great, again, for everyday use or if you wanted to use it for upstyling to get that maximum volume. I like to put a little dust in and then back home. And that's going to really hold that volume for my upstyling for weddings as well. So those are all a one control factor. So they're all a lighter weight control. But we have texture products at all control levels. So let's talk about what we have in our two control level. So there's a couple of products. One of my personal favorites is this first one that you're seeing on here. The first one is called Volume Up. And this is gonna give you instant texture to your hair. But what I love about this product is it not only gives texture, but it also gives a hold. So I know it says it has a two control factor. So it's only a two control factor, but you want that lightweight when you're trying to get volume in your hair. So I can use this to get some volume on the mid to ends. So notice it's such a lightweight aerosol. So I can spray it in and get a little bit of volume and texture to these mid lengths and ends. But I can also, and I'm gonna do this on the other side so you can see it, get use this as root lift. So if my hair has kind of fallen throughout the day, all I have to do is use this aerosol, spray it up here at the base, just hold and let that sit for a minute or blow dry it. And when I let it down, it's gonna give me that little bit of extra volume. So you can see I've already got that little bit of extra volume there. My hair's already getting big, guys. It's gonna be so huge by the time we're done with this. So that is our volume up. Again, one of my personal favorites because it gives me that volume, but also gives me a little bit of that hold that I'm looking for. So the next product we have is going to be a texture clay. This is called sand clay. It's a gritty texturized clay. It gives a semi matte texture, which is super popular right now. And again, it's a two control level. So I'm gonna show you the puck so that you guys can see. It's a little bit of a thicker consistency, but I can still get this out in my hands. So all I gotta do is put a little bit in my fingertips, then I'm gonna put that into my hands, rub my hands together, and then you'll put it through dry hair to get that additional texture. Because this is a little bit of a thicker consistency, if you want it to be a little bit more moldable, you can actually just heat this up with a blow dryer to make it so it's a little bit easier to get out of the container. When you feel it in your hands, you'll feel that slight little grittiness of that sand. So that sand is in there, but it's like just the tiniest little bit of grittiness, just enough to give you that semi matte finish. It's really perfect for textured looks for men or textured looks on shorter hair. Now, another one of my personal favorites is called Mess Up. I like to say this looks like a sardine can because it kind of does, but it's a plastic container instead. So I'm gonna open this up for you because I wanna give you a little tip. When you get this, you get this little foil piece on it. What I would recommend is when you get this, leave the foil piece on. So pull it back and leave this foil piece on because it's a wider container. Sometimes if you don't leave this on and I mean, it lasts a long time, it could dry out. So I like to leave this on just to have that extra control or that extra um, factor of keeping it nice and fresh. So when I get this out, you can see it's a little bit thinner than the consistency of the sand clay but you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put it in your hands, rub your hands together, and then you'll style as desired. But this one is actually one of my favorites because it does give you a matte finish. So it's perfect for men styling that want that matte look, but they wanna be able to mold the hair throughout the day. Because it's got that two control factor, it still gives you the moldability. So again, it's something I would put in dry hair and just add some texture to it to give that complete matte picture or matte finish. So I've got sand clay that gives me a semi matte texture. If I want that true matte texture, that's going to be my mess up matte paste. But don't worry, I've talked about a, a one control level, a two control level. Guess what? If you need more control than that, we also have products that have a three control level to them as well. The first one that I want to talk about is going to be Thrill, which is a fiber gum. Now this one's kind of cool comes in this little metal container. Again, it's a three control factor. So it's got a pretty strong hold to it. When you look in here, you can see that it's got this, it's got a fiber gum. So when I bring this up, see how it has like the little gummy feel. Um, so it makes it super easy to put in the hair. 
So I'm gonna put just a little bit in my hands so you guys can see it. Put a little bit here. All you have to do is rub your hands together and then style as desired. It's gonna create a PC look for your client, but it's going to have a semi shine to it. So if you're looking for shine and you want that separation, so maybe I don't want a matte or a semi matte finish. I want something with a little bit more shine. This is actually, if you um, have ever seen Damien Carney, uh, he does a lot of haircutting techniques. He uses thrill in a lot of his styles that he does and he does amazing haircuts. So if you don't follow him yet, find him on Instagram, Damien Carney. Um, he uses this all the time and it's such a great product to add that shine and that little bit of texture. The other product we have that has the three control level is our G4 Stronghold Gel. Most of us know how to use a gel, so I didn't bring this product out because we all know what a gel looks like. I like to use this gel because it gives me a strong hold, but I can still brush it out of the hair without getting those little white flakes. So it's super easy to wash out. I like to use G-Force when I'm doing, say, I wanna do finger waves or pin curls. It's a really great strong control so that I can get those beautiful finger waves and pin curls. Or if I wanna get like a strong base for a pompadour for a men's style, I'll add in G-Force first and blow dry that into the hair to really give me some hold and control uh, and just give me a strong base to then finish styling the hair. Also, some guys just still like a gel. So this is a perfect product for a guy that likes to have that gel look. You can use this product, put it in, and it is gonna act like a typical gel that you would use. So it could be used in that way, but I think sometimes we forget that gel can be used so well as a prepping product also. So again, we've got control level one, control level two, control level three, but guess what guys? We also have some products that have a really strong control to them, and that's our four control. So we have two products within this range. One is gonna have a semi-shine finish to it, and that's going to be your Flex Wax Cream Wax. So I've got this out so you guys can see its texture as well. So when, this is gonna be just that regular cream. When I get this out, look how easy it is to get out. So even though it has that four control level, watch how easy it is to spread it in through my hands. So it's got that four control level. So once it's there, it's there, but it gives you time to mold this into your hair, and it's gonna give you that separation and texture, but also has that really cream consistency so that it's easy to work and mold into the hair and gives you that shine and four control. So for that guy who wants to style his hair, wants to have a little bit of shine, but really doesn't want it to move, wants to be able to be outside and not have the wind just blow his hair around, this is the perfect product. Also for pixie cuts, if somebody has a pixie cut and they love that kind of shiny finish, this is gonna give that texture, that really strong control and also the additional shine. But some people don't want shine. They want to have more of a matte finish. So I'm gonna show you the Mighty Matte as well because Mighty Matte is kind of the next step up from our mess up. So mess up is a matte finish. Mighty Matte is also a matte finish, but it's got that four control factor. So I'm gonna get this out Look how easy that was to get out of the container and how easily it spreads in my hand. So it spreads super easy into my hands, which makes it super easy to mold into the hair. So it's got a nice creamy consistency to it, which makes it super easy to really texturize that hair. But when it dries, it gives you that matte dry finish and it's gonna be there all day because it's got that four control factor. So you could go swimming in a pool, get out of the pool and your hair would probably still look the same. Uh, but it also washes out easily. So it's not like a glue that's gonna stay in the hair and be hard to get out. It's gonna be super easy to get out of the hair and also has that really strong control for those that don't want their hair to move throughout the day. Now with this, it's easy to work into the hair, but once it's there, it is there and it's going to stay that style all day because it has that four control factor. So we talked about products to build your style. We talked about products to texture your style. But what about finishing products? So we also need to talk about what products we have to finish. And one of the things that Schwarzkopf Professional has done very well is that we have four, you heard it, four different hairsprays, not one, not two, but four. Why? Because different people need hairsprays for different jobs. So the first one is going to be your elastic. Elastic is my prepping spray. This is what I use in my hair when I want to just wear these natural waves and I want it to still be moldable and usable. So any of you that have used Osis before know that we used to have something called sparkler that was just a shine oil and it came in an aerosol. What I love about elastic is it took the shine benefits of sparkler and added it into a very light hold 
hairspray, which is perfect because it gives you that anti-humidity and frizz control for 48 hours, but it also adds a lot of shine. So this is gonna be a wetter hairspray and has only a one control factor. So it really is gonna be super easy to run your hands through your hair and not have to worry about um, it being too tacky. Also, if I'm prepping hair with elastic, I don't have to worry about the curls looking like these flat ribbons. It's gonna be super easy to brush out. Now, sometimes you need a little bit more control than just a one. So that's where freeze comes in. It's gonna be a drier hairspray and it's going to be easy to brush out but it's gonna be stronger than what elastic is, but not as strong as some of our others. This is a really great everyday hairspray. For somebody who doesn't mind having a slight hold to their hair, but still wants to be able to move their hair, this is perfect. I feel like it's just the right control to where it's not, sometimes elastic is not enough for a full day. I might prep with elastic and then finish with freeze for everyday looks. But if I'm doing more session styling, or if I'm trying to do hair for weddings, things like that, sometimes I need a little bit more of that control factor. And so guess what? We don't just have control level one and control level two. We also have session, which is our three control level. That's going to be for that client who literally just wants to have a very strong hold, but also the anti-humidity and anti-frizz for 48 hours is in all of our hairsprays. But with this one, it's going to be stronger than the freeze, but not concrete so concrete holds my hair all day every day i could go in a wind tunnel and it's not going to move session will still give me a little bit of movement but it's really going to hold that in so i like to think for somebody who likes a harder hold hairspray our session spray is great for that client who likes a harder hold hairspray the times that i use concrete are when i really don't want that hair to move i like to use concrete for wedding hair that's outdoor because think about it when you're outside you've got the effects of humidity people are sweating the hair likes to fall it's not going to stay where it needs to be and what's great is that our concrete is a dry hairspray and it's weatherproof so it's not going to be affected by the humidity it's not going to be affected by you sweating it's literally going to stay there again i could put the hair in a mohawk put them in a wind tunnel and literally their hair won't move one of our regional education managers, Terry, actually has a photo of herself where she made her hair stand up using concrete and she even shook her head and it didn't move. So if you're looking for something that's going to make it so that your hair does not move, it's concrete. So again, four different control factors for hairsprays, which I think is important. We've got a one control level, which is elastic, the two control level, which is freeze. Our session is your three control level and then you don't want the hair to move. That's your concrete. So those are gonna be your finishing products because we all know the only way to finish a style and let it stay is to actually spray some hairspray into it. Now this last little gem here is called our Anti-Frizz Shine Serum. What I love about this is that it's got almost like this gel oil to it. So it's really soft and smooth. It almost makes my hand feel velvety. I can use this in my hair when it's wet before I blow dry it or if my ends get kind of ratty, all I have to do is take just a little bit of magic run it through my ends, and what it's gonna do is really seal those ends and give a nice shine. So for somebody who even has fine hair but frizz, this is a perfect product for them because it's super lightweight and it's something that's gonna to help to seal their ends and really just take that frizz out of their hair. Again, could be put in wet hair before you blow dry or you could reuse it throughout the day. Notice this control level is just a one. You don't feel this product in your hair. It literally is just gonna give you that little bit of frizz control and that little bit of shine that you're looking for. So if I'm doing like a braiding technique, sometimes I'll put a little of this in my hands before I braid, because what that does is helps me to smooth the hair in my hands and really keep those separate sections. So it works also if you're trying to do up styling for weddings. So we've now talked about the entire core range for Osis. We talked about the product or architecture and how we have building your style, we have our texturizing products and our finishing products, but we also have a couple of little specialty categories within OSIS and one of them is brand new, which I'm super excited about. So we have our dry texture styling. There are two products within our dry texture styling. The first one is our soft texture spray. So soft texture, notice its control level is a one. So this doesn't have a lot of control and that's on purpose. This is meant to give you those smooth, velvety results. Think of this as a dry conditioner for the hair. So first I'm gonna spray a little in my hair so you can see it. So when I spray this in, all it's gonna do is give me just a little bit of extra shine. It's not really a lot of 
texture per se, but it's gonna give me that soft velvety shine. So if you're doing glamour waves or you want something that's just gonna give you just softness to the hair, this is perfect. Also, we know about dry shampoos, right? We know a dry shampoo is meant to absorb oils, it's meant to make your hair smell better, but sometimes on day two or three, my ends start to look dry and frizzy and they just don't look good. So this can help condition those ends so that my ends don't seem so dry anymore. It's really gonna give them some silkiness. And instead of being like an oil where it feels a little slick in the hair, it gives me more of that smooth velvety feel. So I love to use this, like if you're doing glam waves or you're doing finger waves, somebody to look like um, movie star waves. This is a perfect thing to use to spray into the ends and brush it through and give that soft velvety feel. But it's also perfect for second day hair when your ends just start to get a little brittle. It will help to add a little bit of shine and moisturization. So it does help detangle, give that velvety shine and helps revive those dull lengths and ends. The other product is Texture Craft. Now if I am looking for a decent amount of texture in the hair, this has a two control factor, so you're gonna feel in your hair a little bit more. What I love about this is even though it has a control factor, that control factor has more to do with the texture, not so much with like a hairspray hold. So I don't feel like I have hairspray. Also, a lot of texture sprays have like a white powder to them. And what I love about this, so I'm gonna spray it right here on this towel, is I don't get a white powder with this. So it's not gonna leave a white powder in my hair. It's literally just gonna give me some texture. So I'm gonna spray a little bit into my hair so you guys can see the effects. It's a nice aerosol base. What this is gonna do is give me more separation and definition to my curls. So see how now I've got more of a beachy kind of uh, disheveled look. So it's gonna give me that little bit of texture, but also could be a root lift. So if I wanna spray a little bit more up here at the top, then I can get a little bit more of that root lift. My hair is getting so big guys. Like you made it so that I'm gonna have a, a hairstyle that's gonna hold for days. Um, so that is our texture craft. There are only two products within it. Again, my soft texture is gonna be more of a dry conditioner for the hair. And then the texture craft is going to be more of a texture spray without the strong control. It's gonna be more of just a texture product. Now, some of you may know that we also have a specialty little boutique line. And this little boutique line only has a few products in it, but I really love its coloring. It stands out on a shelf. It is that black and silver packaging that looks super fantastic. Now within this, um, I, there are a couple of different products. The first one I wanna talk about, remember I said earlier that I would tell you about a primer for finer hair, because we have Tame Wild for the thick, coarse hair. This could be a primer even for somebody with fine hair. Now what I love about this is watch, this top, I click it, Ooh, how fun is that? So it's this little pump, and I'm just gonna put just a little bit in my hand here. Just a little bit, it's a brand new bottle. There we go. So you can see it's a nice velvety cream. So if somebody's looking for a primer, like a primer for their hair, and I say primer because if you think of a primer for your face, what does that do? It fills in your pores, gives you this nice velvety base to really put your makeup on and make it look perfect. This is gonna do the same thing, but it's called Miracle 15 because it has 15 different benefits, guys, 15. So there's 15 different benefits, including 96 hours of anti-frizz, it's got heat protection, it's going to give you anti-static. Anyone that lives in a dry environment, such as like Chicago in the winter, knows that static is a thing. And so this is something that somebody can use in their hair to get that anti-static. So my sister hates having any product in her hair, but she was getting breakage in her hair because she didn't put product in and she was flat ironing every day. So I started having her use Miracle 15. The benefit is it doesn't feel like she has anything in her hair. Her complaint to me was that every time she uses a product, it feels kind of gritty and tacky. So by using Miracle 15, she's able to protect her hair from the heat and frizz protection, other environments, um, but it doesn't feel like she has anything in her hair. And what's great is this bottle's so little, you can take it and travel with it as well. Now, Powder Cloud, we all talked about Dust It, and Dust It was, you know, this product that has the volumizing powder to it. Powder Cloud is basically taking that powder and putting it in a spray form. Now, I meant to grab it and bring it out here, but it's not here, but basically it's, the same type of powder, but it uses a different technology to it, so it's lighter weight. I like to say that my uh, dust it is more for upstyling to create those really voluminous looks, and I love using Powder Cloud for everyday volume. 
All you have to do is spray it and it comes out in that little powder, that fluffy little powder, like what you see in dust it, but it's lighter weight and creates that little bit of texture. What I love about being able to spray it versus having to tap it in is that by spraying it, I can actually get some texture in the ends as well instead of just on the new growth. So it's perfect to give that little bit of texture, has a slight white powder to it, and will just give that control factor and reusability. So every time I work my hair, hands in my hair, I get a little more volume. Now I think I have enough volume, so it's probably actually a good thing I don't have this product sitting in front of me because I don't really think I need anything else at this point. But the last product that we have here is our super concentrated strong hold gel. The main benefit of this gel is that it actually leaves the hair a dry hair feeling. Now it's kind of cool. You can see all the way to the bottom of this jar. So it's kind of a cool texture. It's almost like a jelly consistency. It's almost like jello inside this container. So when I get this out, uh, I have this nice little gel consistency. Don't mind me, it's a mirrored screen. So then I run it through my hands. Now it does have a strong hold to it, but again, what I love about this is the dry hair feeling. When you use a gel, a lot of times you think it's just gonna look like wet hair, but this is gonna have that strong hold, but also give a dry hair feeling to the hair. So this is something I like to use. Again, I can do finger waves with this product. And the whole point of session label is it was meant for session work when it first was brought out. That means I might be doing a style and then I have to brush it out into another style. So one of the benefits of this is while it has a strong hold, I can also brush out these finger waves I just did and put her in another style afterwards and not have to worry about dry flakes. It's super easy to brush out and shampoo out of the hair and gives me that dry versus wet look. So loving the crystal gel as well. Um, so these are the three core products in the line. We do also have, because you can't just have those products, we do also have a couple of more hairsprays. So there are two different ones here. The first one is my buildable texture spray. So this texture spray is going to not have a control level on it because it's part of session label, so it's a lighter control. So I'm just gonna spray a little in there so you can see it. And what's nice is that this has that texture to it that's buildable. If you notice on this slide, it says it's the first application is 45% more, second is 100%, 120% more, and third application is 200% more. So you're getting more volume. Use a little or use a lot. You literally can layer this. So if I've put a little bit in my hair and it wasn't quite enough, I can use it again, get a little bit more volume, use it again. This is perfect for beachy waves or if somebody wants that like kind of braided look that's a little more tousled, those boho styles, this is the perfect texture spray to create that volume and to give you that beachy textured look. Now, one of my favorite prepping sprays that I uh, have been using for weddings is actually our strong smooth or smooth strong hairspray the perk of this 72 hour stronghold hairspray it also has heat protection in it which when i'm prepping the hair for weddings or up styles a lot of times i want to have a heat protection so if i can have a hairspray and a heat protection but it also helps with frizz and flyaways so i'm going to spray a little bit on the top so you can see how that does because i've created a lot of flyaways here so i'm just going to spray a little bit here if i've done an up style do you see how it just took those flyaways and matted them back down, but it didn't take away my volume. So it gave me that strong, smooth look. So it gave me that hold that I needed, but it also helped me to smooth those flyaways as well. So I like to use this even when I'm done with an up style, if I have flyaways, I like to spray this onto the hair. And then have any of you ever taken like a paper towel or a dryer sheet and you just kind of run it over the top of the hair? If you spray this in first and run that over the top, it's really gonna smooth those flyaways and give you a beautiful end result. But because it doesn't have a strong control factor, it's super easy to brush out of the hair. I like to use this for my clients that don't want their hair to feel like they have a hairspray in it, but they really need that little bit of control. So that was our Osis session label. And again, the session label is the black and the silver, and it is a boutique line. So you could even just bring that in and none of those have a hold factor. They're really just there to kind of be that boutique line that's a little bit lighter base uh, that you can use in the salon and rebuild hair, but also give your clients some products to take home that are gonna feel super lightweight for them and still very versatile. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed all of this information on Osis. I know it was a lot, but you got a chance to see what the products look like. But now if you wanna find out more information on this slide here, we're showing you how we have our ask-elearning.com. 
So that is going to be our online learning program. Also, we have tons of videos up on YouTube, so you can find about, out about BC Bonicure, you can find out about Agora Riel and Agora Vibrance, all on YouTube or Schwarzkopf Professional USA. Also, don't forget we have a House of Color app, so if you're looking for other product recommendations or you wanna help formulate for your clients, it's there. I've also been doing some lives on my own page on Instagram, at Amber Hug. You'll see that scrolling at the bottom of the page. So at Amber Hug on Instagram, I'm also Amber Hug on Facebook. And I have been creating my own lives where I do product knowledge classes also. So you can see more of me on there. And don't forget to follow Schwarzkopf on Instagram. It's at Schwarzkopf USA on Instagram. And we are Schwarzkopf Professional USA on Facebook. We do tons of lives and tons of education, but we're gonna have a huge library of education on YouTube for you guys to come to in the future so that you can watch those. So thank you again for joining. I encourage all of you to go to our ask-elearning.com and follow up and learn even more information. And I look forward to all future education that I have for all of you. Have a great day.